Hello fellow fragrance lovers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am reviewing, kind of reviewing, blind sniffing, and reviewing one of the fragrances that I've thoroughly tested, but I'm doing all of this for the house of Hermetica. So stick around if you would like to know about this house. It's a really cool um, house that is actually an offshoot of Memo Paris, if you are familiar with Memo Paris, and they have these beautiful molecular fragrances that have this technology where you get the heart of the fragrance right away. You don't have to wait for the dry down or anything. You get the full experience in the initial spray. So I think that's exciting. There's also a lot of interesting facts about this brand. It is clean. It is alcohol free. It's actually moisturizing, which I think is so cool because I have dry skin. It's clean, cruelty free, long lasting, green, vegan, and paraben, paraben free. Paraben free. Sorry, it's been a long day. And the bottles are beautiful. So I'll get into all of that in just a moment. But of course, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. I would really appreciate it. I recently reached the 300 subscriber mark. So I'm super excited about that. And I would love to bring you lots more great content. I've been a little bit raggedy lately. <laughs> I'm so overdue to get my hair done and I'm getting used to waking up early again. I am a high school teacher and we started back with the students uh, just last week. So it's been very hectic, very tiring, but I'm happy to be back with the kids in person. So yeah, but it's making me a little bit, a little bit bonkers, just a little bit bonkers. So bear with me while I get my, my bearings. But anyway, so I first found out about Hermetica, I guess through the targeted ads. Those are very good. They're very effective on me. I have to say like scrolling through Facebook and Instagram and then like these perfume ads pop up because they know who they're dealing with, obviously. So I kept seeing, I thought the bottles were really pretty and I didn't really think much about it, but then I was watching a video from Erin Nicole, if you're familiar with her channel, Erin Nicole TV. I love her. I just like stare at her. She's so beautiful <laughs> and not to be creepy, but like, she's so beautiful. You just like want to stare at her. And she's so like elegant about testing the perfume. And she tested one of these. She was testing Sandal Sun, which I'll be testing myself in a second. But instead of me, who's like all awkward with my arms and your face and be like she like has her little strips and she's like mm, this smells so good like she's so like low-key kind of the opposite of me but I like to watch people who are a little more low-key than I am a little like calmer she's very like relaxing and she's really good with perfume so check out her channel Erin Nicole TV she's really good she does like makeup stuff as well but anyway she was talking about Sandal Sun and I think a little bit about the brand in general so I thought I'd check it out it went to their site and they had this sample set with I think it was 13 of these little samples but then I also thought okay I'm gonna while I have the first order discount code I'll just go in and get one, of the small size of one full bottle that I, I'm pretty sure I'll like from, you know, just blindly purchasing. And boy, was I right. I was right about that one. So the one that I got a full size of, full, well, it's not the biggest size, but it's not a sample, was Amber B. And I was pretty sure I would like Amber B. Now, there are little cards here have notes. Um on them, but I'm, I'm looking this one up on Fragrantica just because I think there's maybe some more information on these, but it's just amber, powdery notes, bergamot, and woody notes. And they're pretty simple, but as I said, you get everything right away. You don't have to wait for a dry down or anything. So the packaging, first of all, like this box. Oh my Lord. Look at how beautiful it is. Very beautiful presentation there. Very beautiful. And then when you open it up, oh, it's beautiful. It's hard to see the green here, but it's this beautiful shade of green. Really, really nice. It's a very heavy bottle as well. So great quality. So Amber B, 
Oh my god, it's like one of the best smells I've smelled. It's not super unique. Like, I've definitely smelled things like this before. But the quality of it is wonderful. It is moisturizing. It's very ambery. And to me, it's a little bit vanillic, too. Although it didn't say anything about vanilla. But it is very ambery. And it's just so warm, cozy. Definitely unisex. So I've worn this a few times. It got cooler for a couple days here um, in the Northeast. And I wore it then. Now, of course, we're in like another heat wave or almost heat wave. We're in the high 80s. I'm so over it. I just want it to be fall and beautiful, crisp weather and not super hot weather. But I would not wear this in super hot weather. Uh, this is definitely a fall winter fragrance. Oh my gosh, if you love amber, this is just the perfect amber. It is stunning. Oh my gosh, and yes, very long lasting. I am just thrilled with it. So that was like a very successful blind buy. So that was the Amber B Eau de Parfum. I say if you're an amber lover, this is just like a no-brainer. Okay, so check that out. So what I wanted to do, I'm not testing all of the other fragrances. I have way too many samples, but I figured I picked out a few that look intriguing that look like ones that I probably will like. So I'm going to blind sniff them with you guys and see what happens. And the cool thing is we don't really have to wait for a dry down or anything. I've, I should be able to tell if I like them or not upon the first spray. So the first one I'm going to talk about is this one called um, Dark Oud. Dark Oud. And this one says, Dark Oud Eau de Parfum is a sheer oriental fragrance made luxurious and entrancing thanks to its rich embroidery of spices and oud essence. I mean, I'm on board already. The high concentration of source balance with Rose Absolute brings a luminosity and freshness to this hypnotic, addictive elixir that complements the warming undertones of saffron molecule. So I guess it's Rose Absolute, saffron molecule, Oud essence and this like source molecular thing. That's one of the samples too, but I'm not sniffing it right now. But let's give it a go. Let's see what happens with this one. Okay, so this is dark oud. Ooh. Oh my gosh, that's good. That's good. Oh wow. It's um very woody. Um, the rose is definitely there. It's not like a jammy sweet rose. It's, um, it's more of a, more of like a dry rose and it's subtle. It's not overtaking the fragrance, but I definitely smell the rose. And I get the saffron. I mean, this one's spot on, like exactly what it says. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it smells like rose and saffron and oud. But it's not an overpowering oud. It's not like a real pungent, screechy type of oud. It is a very subtle... You know I, you know I use that description of sticking your head in a wooden cabinet <laughs> type of oud. I'm getting a little bit of that with this. Oh, wow. This is beautifully unisex. Mm, it's like a little bit spicy. Sorry, I forgot to put my phone on silent, so it's it's vibrating. Sorry about that. Hmm. Anywho, I'm just so popular. Um. Wow, beautiful. I agree. That is uh, more of an Oriental profile. Gosh, it's really really gorgeous. This is the um. This is a little graphic in here, too, and this is what the samples look like. So the sample pack is really cool because you get, I think it was 13, 13 of these. And then they give you, like, a couple other samples as well. So it's it's a nice uh, it's a nice little set. Wow, that is really beautiful. Love that. Okay, so that was Dark Oud. The next one is the one that I saw Erin Nicole talk about, and that is Sandal Sun. And this one is Hazelnut Accord 
pure vanilla extract and myrrh essence. And of course, myrrh is my favorite fragrance note, so I have high hopes. This is the visual for that one. And they say the little tagline here is sweet, lazy day. So sandals on sweet, lazy day. Okay. This has been hyped up by Erin Nicole. Ooh, and I'm actually going to rub it in a little bit. It is super moisturizing. Ooh. Oh, wow. That's very hazelnutty. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this is, again, spot on vanilla hazelnut myrrh. Oh, wow. It's sweet. It's definitely leaning gourmand, but not, not, um, too, not too cloying, sickening type of sweet. It's a very sophisticated type of sweet. Oh, it smells really good. There's almost a little bit of a freshness to it too. So this you could wear in warmer weather for sure, but I could also see this being a great fall fragrance. Mmm. Oh, it's just sweet hazelnut. So this actually is um, reminding me of like a Ferrar Rocher, the little ball, you know, and like the foil. It kind of smells like that. Not as, not chocolatey, but that hazelnutty sweetness reminds me of a Ferrar Rocher. And that's like one of my favorite candies. So um, I'm liking Sandal Sun. Okay, that's good. That is good. Okay, so both of those so far, Limelight last two thumbs up. Fantastic. Now let's move on to this next one. Patchoulite. Ultraviolet wood. Patchoulite which I'm assuming, uh, yes, it does have patchouli in it. That makes sense. Okay, sandal essence, patchouli oil, and iris molecule. And here is the graphic for that one. Now, I love some sandal wood, and I love some patchouli, and I love some iris. So I think this is going to be good. So let's see. Try the other arm here. Wow, this is bad because I, I, I'm liking all of these. Mmm. Yeah, this is definitely a like a sandalwood patchouli iris. <laughs> it's pretty straightforward. Um, I'm getting more of the sandalwood and patchouli than iris, though. Iris is subtle. Um, this one's not sweet. I am getting that slight powderiness, though, from the iris. Iris is notoriously powdery. I'm getting that. Wow, it's really beautiful. Um, it's very, like, natural smelling. If you like really woody, like, nature. And if you can... I don't know if you can see this, and I have a light here. But my skin... Let me see if I turn this way. I'm trying to show you that my skin... There, right there. My skin is, like, shiny because it is very oily. It is very like, like I'm rubbing it in here. It is very moisturizing. And like I said, I have really dry skin. Mm, it's very woody. Yeah. It's a beautiful woody fragrance with a little bit of that iris powdery touch. And I just get this kind of very like green impression from it as well. Oh, it's really beautiful and very unisex. Okay, well, I'm like last two thumbs up. Okay, and the last one I'm going to try today, because I feel like that's, you know, four is a good amount to try at once, is, uh, oh, Then and Night. Then and Night, which is uh, Forbidden Sun. And this is, I guess, a Vanilla Absolute, for, okay, Vanilla Absolute Almond Oil and Floral Amber Molecule. I'm excited because I love vanilla and I love almond and I love amber. So I'm, I'm thinking I can't go wrong with this one. I love this visual here as well. Beautiful. 
I'm guessing this is going to be on the sweeter side, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. This is vanilla, but it's a very different kind of vanilla. Hmm. Because it is a very almondy vanilla. Hmm. But with the amber, the amber kind of cuts the sweetness. An almond oil, so it is more of like, it's not a very sweet almond. It, it smells more like an actual almond. Because if you like sniff an almond, I don't know why you'd be doing that. But you know what I mean? Like a, like a roasted almond. It's not sweet. It's like that nuttiness. They, you know, they use almonds in a lot of sweet things, but so I kind, you know, I kind of think almond is more on the sweet side, but it's really not if you think about it and you're just sniffing an almond. This almond is more of like, just like a roasted almond, but with vanilla and amber. It's not quite gourmand. I wouldn't say it's gourmand necessarily. It, but it has a very nice hint of sweetness, still unisex. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, these are all nice. That is also getting me limelight last two thumbs up. That is beautiful. Wow, so these fragrance, again, very, they're emollient, moisturizing. Oh gosh, they all smell really good. I, I'm pretty sure you could layer these. I mean, I'm smelling all of them on me now. And they don't clash. Now, I don't know about the other ones and the different... And, and there's also, like, subcategories um, of these. So, like, I think there is one that's, I think, vertical amber or something like that. I don't know. But, wow, they all smell really good. Oh, gosh, the Sandal Sun. Darn it. I'm going to want that now. <laughs> Yeah, they're all really beautiful. So if you want some really nice sort of like oil, more oily feeling fragrances, moisturizing fragrance, clean, molecular, oh, beautiful. They're not loud. I mean, I found that when, at least with the Amber Bee, because that was the one that I had fully tested for several days, I'm pretty sure people around me could smell me, but not like across the room or anything. Probably, you know, in a little, like, couple feet of a, of a scent bubble. But really beautiful. These are really nice, cozy, but natural smelling fragrances. They do not smell synthetic at all. Wow, they're beautiful. So I think that um, Hermetica is a house that I'm going to explore even more. I'm definitely going to try... The other ones, if you'd like to see a follow-up on the other samples, let me know because I have a bunch more to test. I just didn't want to overwhelm myself. But um, that's my overall first impression of this line. Again, packaging is beautiful, bottle, lovely, and I just really love the concept of it. And it's great that they're associated with Memo Paris because that's another really fantastic fragrance house. So... Once again, thank you so much for being here, and if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the notification bell, and of course, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel, and you can also donate to my channel through buymeacoffee.com. I will put all the information in the description box. Hope you all have a lovely day. I really do appreciate you being here, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!